Well, our next guest needs no introduction at all from uh, me. Not only is he a 2010 Fields Medal winner, but also a member of the French uh, National Assembly. It's uh, Cédric Villani. Cédric, welcome. Hello, nice to be here. Yeah. Now, let's start off with your lecture on the uh, age of the Earth. Tell us a little bit about what you're going to be talking about. Uh, this is one of my favorite lectures for like high school students or people who are not past the high school level in uh, mathematics. And it shows how a problem which is related to geology actually turns out to have mathematics centrally embedded in it and how it was at the center of a heated scientific dispute. So it's a real story about the history of sciences which tells a lot about our world but also about how science works and how it's full of passion, theories, disputes and mixture and interactions between sciences. It's an interesting point you make about young people who are going to be uh, uh, attending your lecture. What do you would like them to get out of it? I, the most important thing I want them to understand is how much science is about not just the rigor, but also the passion and the interaction between the people and how science is not something that is extra to our human society. It is within it within our culture, within our history, within our philosophy and our way of seeing things. Let's keep with uh, talking about real life and bringing things together with your new job in the <laughs> yes, uh, National Assembly. Now, there aren't many mathematicians in politics. Currently, no. Science and politics are two worlds that look at each other with some kind of defiance, you know. <laughs> and I think it's very bad. And I think it's important that there are some more science in politics and so more scientists who can bring into politics the scientific culture. Uh, what do you think you can bring to this dialogue? Uh, for instance, I have been working this year on two problems which are highly political and highly scientific also. One of them is the way to teach mathematics. And in France, we are currently facing a tricky situation. We used to be extremely proud of our educational system, considered and recognized as one of the best in the world. And now we see that it's quite in trouble. Our uh, scores at international rankings for high school students in math are very low and uh, we need to improve this quickly. And the second problem I had worked on, a big mission for six months with a very good team and with a lot of uh, media coverage was about artificial intelligence, right. which nowadays is widely considered as an upcoming revolution sure. for the economics, but also in the way we interact and work, and which has consequences on the social aspects, on the training, on the science, on the economics. And one has to have plans for this. Right. The United States of America on the one hand, China on the other hand, are competing leaders worldwide for the economic dominance in this. And we cannot accept that it's just a bipolar world which emerges in this. So Europe has to rise in this, the South has to rise and so on. And my mission was to work hearing many people, preparing recommendations and a roadmap for the government to help up with a national strategy that will nourish a European strategy in this. Time for one more question. So I'd like to bring it back uh, to, to here with the young people who will be at your uh, lecture. When they look at what you've achieved uh, in your life, what, what, would you, what would you like them to take as an inspiration? What would you like them to aspire to? I want them, when they look at my career, to realize first that most of my career was never scheduled. It was not my goal as a child to become a professional mathematician. I did not really understand that you could be a professional right. mathematician. It was not my goal to become a politician. And most importantly, I followed what I liked best. With my passion, I did not want to compute too much what would result right. from this. And I was not afraid to specialize in my problem that I really was passionate for and make connections and uh, discuss things with the people who are passionate also. And then one thing leads to another, opportunities arise, sometimes there are big challenges that occur and say okay, let's take them. And then you arise and make things that are much better than what you expected. 
Well, thank you very much indeed. Thank you for talking <laughs> to us much, today. Sir. It's been a real pleasure to meet you. My pleasure. Thank you very much. ICM TV is brought to you from the 2018 International Congress of Mathematicians in Brazil. So for more like this, click on some of these great videos and don't forget to subscribe for more from the best in science, from everything from mathematics to physics, geophysics and engineering.